Hello everyone, I hope you've had a really lovely week. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. I can't believe that in just under four weeks, it is finally Christmas. Today in church, we will light the first candle on our Advent candle wreath. You might have seen a candle wreath before. It is usually round with four smaller candles and one larger in the middle. We light one new candle each Sunday in Advent and then the large candle in the middle is lit on Christmas Day. In the next video, we will be making an Advent wreath that you can make at home, just like this one. The meaning of the word Advent is coming. When we think of Advent, we think of Christmas and the coming of Jesus. As we begin to decorate our homes for Christmas, Remembering Jesus' birth over the next four weeks of Advent, we will be taking time in our lives and time to prepare our hearts for Jesus' arrival. Just as we prepare our homes, we need to prepare ourselves too. So the week one of Advent is hope. The first candle on our Advent wreath represents the patriarchs in the Bible that predicted the coming of Jesus. Jesus is our hope. Hope is a belief. Hope is what we hang on to when things are not going the way we expected or when times are really tough. It gets us through. It gives us that glimmer that we simply can't ignore. It sparks a feeling in us. The hope we find in Jesus can get us through. The prophets of the Old Testament, especially Isaiah, waited in hope for Jesus' arrival. Here is a little passage from Isaiah in the Bible. Now those people live in darkness, but they will see a great light. They live in a place that is very dark, but a light will shine on them. A child will be born to us. God will give us a son to us. He will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Powerful God, Father who lives forever and Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 and verse 6. It was written a long time before Jesus was born. Think about a time where you felt really hopeless and what happened and who made you more hopeful? For me, in our first lockdown, I was in hospital and I felt really poorly and I felt really hopeless. However, the, I knew that my friends and my family at home were praying for me and that gave me lots of hope and I knew that God was there with me all the way through. Now think about who you could bring hope to this week. Why not take on these hope sharing challenges during the first week of Advent? You could do one each day or do them all at once. So you could choose a friend or family member who doesn't yet know God as their friend and saviour. Draw a picture of them. Then you draw a heart on your picture. Then you pray that they would know God's love. Draw a crown on that picture. Pray that they would know that they are a child of God the King. Draw a gift of that picture. Pray that they would know the amazing gifts God has for them. Add yourself into that picture. Ask God to help you be a good example for them. Spend some time listening to God. Ask God to share with you how much he loves the person in your picture. And lastly, send an encouraging message of love and hope to the person in your picture. Now a prayer of hope to, to uh, end with. As we light the first Advent candle, we remember the hope we have in Jesus. We ask for God's hope to fill our hearts in these dark and difficult times. We thank you God for your amazing rescue plan for us all. Thank you that you came to the earth as a baby and that you will return again. Amen. Now catch our next video 
in which I will teach you how to make your very own advent candle wreath. Now I hope to see you next week with another story.